Ragnarok Run, RF Online, Lineage Granado Espada, sobrang daming massively multiplayer online role-playing games o MMORPG. Sinong hindi pa nakapaglaro ng mga ganito? Malamang konti lang. And now, we have a very strong contender for this genre on mobile. Globally launched on December 11, 2019, ang Black Desert Mobile ay ang mobile version ng coveted MMORPG na Black Desert Online. Although the MMORPG genre has been struggling to find its place during the era and rise of esports, the Black Desert franchise has endured well mula 2014 and is now making its wave in the mobile games market. At syempre, bilang unang bahagi ng ating Maganda Ba series, I'll give you the top 5 reasons bakit maganda ang Black Desert Mobile. Let's go! Number 5. Graphics Mismong Black Desert Online ay nakilala sa ganda ng graphics nito. Even now, there are very little MMORPGs that can compete sa ganda niya and those that can came from the same creators as Black Desert, ang Pearl Abyss. At syempre, ang angking ganda ng Black Desert ay successfully nadala sa Black Desert Mobile. Ramdam mo ang pagka-open world ng laro with the detailed renders of monsters, terrains, and elements. At syempre, hindi mawawala ang napaka-intensive na character creation process. Just customizing the face alone can lead to creative results and take hours if ever may gusto kang ma-achieve na specific na mukha. The graphics of Black Desert Mobile is so good that even high-end phones that usually makes it so easy to run maximum settings on popular games doesn't necessarily max out the graphics ng Black Desert Mobile. So, hindi, hindi sigurado kahit super high-end pa ng cellphone mo. Ganun at hindi yung graphics. Although it's not really a specs issue but more of a compatibility one. Minsan, need mo pa ng tablet or specific na phone brand para malaro ang max settings sa Black Desert Mobile. Pero recently, gumawa sila ng bagong update kung saan halos lahat ng phone brands ay pwede na mag on max settings with a warning prop na lamang if ever parang mag-overheat yung cellphone mo or talagang hindi pwede yung max settings. Automatically, nire-revert niya to a lower setting yung graphics ng laro mo so that hindi rin compromise yung game experience mo. O oh, ba Pinag-isipan ng mabuti. Anyway, setting aside this compatibility issue, I think BDM, without question, holds the best graphics for a mobile MMORPG. Number 4. Flexible Automated Systems Autoplay Although a lot may disagree that automation removes a fun and integral part ng isang MMORPG which is grinding, I'll be realistic here. Whether fun or integral, I think we can all agree that the grinding part for an MMORPG is hard and to some, may be a big waste of time lalo na sa mga taong may kailangang asikasuhin sa labas ng paglalaro. Yung paulit-ulit na pagpatay ng libo-libong mobs for that 1% chance of getting Thing that much coveted item is taxing. But I do agree na para sa iba ay worth it. We're actually split on this discussion. Pero I think BDM has successfully and alam mo yun, pinag-isipan ng mabuti na na-apply itong klase ng automation to MMORPGs. Which I think sa mga MMORPGs ngayon at sa nature ng player base ng MMORPGs ngayon ay kailangan na talaga. At lalo na sa mobile MMO sa and that is without having to remove the fan aspects nung MMORPG. What do I mean? I mean, paano, ba? It is by providing a lot of alternatives to do within the game. Hindi ibig sabihin na automated na yung grinding mo. Ay may malaking bahagi ng paglalaro ng BDM ang nawawala na sa'yo. Actually, the automation allows you to put your efforts in more and a lot of stuff that you can do if ever you are actively playing the game. For example, if ever you are not AFK and you really want to indulge in the game, you can push forward with the main quest or regional quest. Although medyo ignorable at hindi ka pansin-pansin dahil hindi rin naman tayo ganun ka-familiar unless you play Black Desert online, I think hindi ganun kadali gawin ang main quest. And there are even alternate story quests and NPC quests to go on. You can even do knowledge or adventure questing. Try to push forward your boss rush level or practice your skills in a 1v1 or 3v3 PvP ladder which is called Ramones. Ramones? Ramon? Bottom line is yes, my automation. Pero hindi ibig sabihin wala ka nang kailangan gawin. It is clear that within this game, napakaraming kailangan pang gawin. And it makes map grinding the least of your worries. Number 3. 
PvP. Every game as it is, almost always have a competitive element into it. Isang bahagi kung saan pwede mong ipakita sa iba na mas angat ka. At pinaghirapan mo ang dahilan kung bakit. Sa mga MMORPGs, sobrang importante at malaking bahagi ang PvP. At hindi nagpapahuli dito ang Black Desert Mobile. Actually, if we're being simplistic, I think this should be the number one on the list. Kasi the majority of the decision making and the path that you do within the game leads to creating an effective PvP build. Lalo pa ang mga MMORPGs ay highly social na game. So dapat ready and well-equipped ka kapag kinailangan ka ng guild mo for a PvP o guild war. In BDM, there are many aspects to approach the PvP. Obviously, practicing and understanding your skills, frames, and combos is a given. Pero the real kicker is where to start. Paano ka nga ba talaga gagawa ng effective PvP build? Anong choice? Should you start choosing a skill combination set and build your items complementary to that skill set? Or should you go the other way around? That depends pa kung anong class ang mga kalaban mo. And even if you are considering a build flexible for both PvP and PvE. PvP can get really intense from 3v3 and 1v1 fights. And even a war between equally matched guild is a sight to behold din. Oh, and you can even go full outlaw mode at humanap ng mga matatapang in the open field para kalabanin. Also, there is little option to find a fixed meta or cheese builds. Let's say, uh, all crit build. Dahil may capping ang ibang specific stats sa laro. For example, critical can only go as high as 30%. So, kailangan mo talagang bantayan ang specific stats ng equipments and add-ons mo down to the last digit. And trust me, hindi biro gawin yun. To summarize, the PvP is more than just intense. There's also the complicated combinations and theory crafts that you have to deal with bago ka sumabak sa laban. Isang aspeto na karapat dapat lamang meron ng isang MMORPG. Number 2. It's pay to win but not brutal to free to play players. Kitang kita agad sa laro na ang BDM ay pay to win. Or maybe we can say na may pay to win. At halos parang hindi nga tinago ang bahagi ito ng laro ng Pearl Abyss. Which is good. Honestly, in the game is always good compared to underlying payment schemes para lang mapagastos ka. Pero ang hindi napapansin ng nakararami is of how lenient the game is to free to play players. A good example is of the pets. I find that the pets is one of the most blatantly pay to win aspects of the game. You really really need to spend real money just to get the higher tier pets. Pets helps you with the looting and actually bawat pet ay may mga skill that improves your progress within the game. Like an added experience to certain abilities like for example logging, fishing, foraging, and even combat skill. Now, you really need to spend real money just to get into the higher tier pets. But interestingly, all players have access to having 3 pets which is very important. There's a free one, a pan pet tutorial, then another black cat that you can buy using black pearls as you progress within the game, and another free one on a pet chest update. And the best part is actually recently din nagkaroon ng bagong update kung saan you can just really buy tier 1 pets using the black pearls. A currency that you can get just grinding through the game. And as I mentioned, having 3 pets is always important. Lalo pa, it saves you a big amount of time getting your loots in the field. Now, this also goes to show for upgrades, enhancements, and equipments that you can buy using your silver and black pearls in the market. And I've seen so many free-to-play friends then within my social circle na merong napaka-competitive na combat points then. Me, I personally think na malaking bahagi na at marahil malaking kahinaan din ng genre ng MMORP ang pagkakaroon ng pay to win. Actually, kung papansinin mo, kahit nung rag na days pa lang, may pay to win na. But, I think Black Desert was able to manage the disdain and of course, the negative perception of the players over this factor and made it so na hindi ito magiging hurdle para maengganyo ang mga bago at free-to-play players na maglalaro. If you think hindi mo pwedeng malaro ang BDM dahil wala kang panggastos, I suggest that you download the game and give it a good try. Number 1. It's a well thought out game. Ang BDM I think ay pinag-isipan ng mabuti. I played so many MMORPGs. Some are great, some are greatest, and some I think hindi lang talaga nila panahon. I've also played a good amount of uh, Black Desert Online and when I heard that it is coming into mobile, I said na sige, bibigyan ko siya ng magandang try. Talagang try lang ha and nothing hardcore or committed. I actually have some good expectations about the game despite the plethora of hate no, around its launch 
and giving it the benefit of the doubt, napansin ko na napaka-tansyado at maingat ang approach ng Black Desert Mobile pagdating sa launch nito. First example is of the small download format nito sa Google Play Store. Effectively luring players thinking of how small it is as an app, kahit talagang malaki ang actual game size nito. Another is of the pre-download and the pre-creation of a character. Before the actual game launch, na despite being hated by many dahil daw hindi daw sila agahad makapaglaro, when in fact, it is just an early pre-creation, hindi pa talaga yun yung actual game launch as previously announced. Eh, I think that kind of approach is a very wise decision para mabawasan ang server load mula sa character creation pa lang. Madalas problema ito ng mga laro na ang nangyayari dahil sa character creation pa lang and there is a heavy influx of players trying to log in, nagkakaroon ka agad ng server lag or worse is even server queuing. And actually halos sa isang buwan kong paglalaro, there is a minimal or almost no connection issues akong narinig when playing Black Desert Mobile. Of course, there is the main game in general. The main reason bakit number one ito sa aking list is dahil it is so well thought out, napakaraming elements ang nailagay sa laro successfully. And the best part is those elements coincide well with each other. For example, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi lang yung PvP mismo ang maganda, kundi yung adventure or the process of creating into that PvP build. Pero aside from getting your equipments, there's also the town system where essentially you can create everything in the game. Tradable items, weapons, equipments, and even cosmetics na nabibili mo dapat using real money sa Pearl Shop. And that is further good news para sa mga free-to-play players. And you know, this kind of stuff gives you assurance na parang mas matagal kang naglalaro, mas magiging worth it yung oras mo sa Black Desert Mobile. And that is really really good ah, for an MMORPG. And kung trick mong mag-ala single player story mode, you can go with the main quest. And kung bitin pa yun, there are many other quests to go to. You have a collection to fill up, knowledge to achieve, and even resonance, gear resonance to complete and so much more. As I recall from one friend who really got into playing Black Desert Online. To quote, sabi niya, marami kang pwedeng gawin. And I'll say the same for this video. There are just so many elements into this MMORPG, which you think you can expect. And then the next thing you know, mapapasabi kang, meron palang ganun sa Black Desert Mobile. And the best part is that Black Desert Online is able to have this kind of elements work in perfect unison with each other. And having these kinds of elements is what leads me to think that BDM is a well thought out game. Hence being the number one on this list. At kung tatanungin mo ako, kung maganda ba ang Black Desert Mobile, the answer is a yes. Maganda siyang MMORPG game. I do play Black Desert Mobile using a level 58 warrior as of recording and our guild Parabellum is recruiting active players. That is on Serenja server. You can also put me up on your adventurous fame code C2T4BYEC4YLI and I'll see you in game. So that concludes this video. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanood at sana natuwa o may natutunan kayo sa panonood ng video na to. Of course, do not forget to leave a comment about your thoughts for the game or the video at kung ano pa mga videos ang gusto nyo makita sa channel na to. We have new videos every Mondays and Fridays and of course, do not forget to hit that like or dislike button, that subscription button and syempre yung notification bell para alam nyo kaagad may update kayo kapag may bago tayong video. Ang yung supporta is what makes this videos possible and I am Shinbu with a one for an eye para sa lahat ng mga gamers. Mabuhay!